It's September 23rd, 2010. This is Pre. He's a six and a half month old Labrador Retriever puppy that was diagnosed with hypertrophic osteodystrophy when he was 11 or 12 weeks old, about uh, three to four weeks after I purchased him. And then last week he was diagnosed with craniomandibular osteopathy, which is an abnormal, excessive bony formation of the head, particularly the mandible. And I'll show you a little bit of what this is on a coyote skull. But usually the bony formation starts here at the ramus. And our main concern is that it grows back to the, the temporal mandibular joint, which is opening and closing of the jaw. And if that happens, the dog can have difficulty eating and drinking, and sometimes they're unable to even open the jaw. In those cases, um, sometimes surgery can be done. In other cases, they recommend euthanasia. And as we can see on pre, usually this is bilateral, and on pre you can see this big formation that's just occurred in the, the last week. And um, so he's inflamed here. This side is normal. And so this lower jaw is probably growing faster than the involved side. And depending on when the growth plates close, what we could end up with is a deviation of the jaw to the right side. And usually these inflammatory processes stop when the dog reaches about 12 to 14 months of age. And sometimes even a little bit of this bone is reabsorbed. My veterinarian seems to think that this is a lot of bone and it's not going to really reabsorb. So we're hoping that by the ages of you know 12 to 14 months, a lot of these inflammatory processes will, will be down and we'll see what functional level pre will be at. As far as the uh, hypertrophic osteodystrophy, um, pre's a lot better. He uh, we really monitor his activity, which is hard for him because he'd like to get out and do some things, but if we let him do too much, he uh, is lame in both front limbs. I also have him on a very conservative um, nutritional diet and a veterinarian who does acupuncture on him. And, uh, you know, our hopes are that uh, by 12 to 14 months, he can be a uh, functional dog as, you know, someone's pet because he's certainly suffered enough at this young age.